right, everybody, this is a video three for this uh, mini lesson. It's to simplify expressions with like terms. Uh, this is stuff you have learned in the eighth grade. I know you have because I've walked into classrooms when we're learning this. But we're going to go over it again. And so here we go with the first slide. It says adding exponents. And I give this slide all the time because it makes me laugh. Because then if I say to you, hey, everybody, what is three hearts plus two hearts? You guys are like, ew, Mr. Craig, we're not like two. It's just five, duh, everybody knows that. And I agree, it's totally five hearts. And it might help if I actually put my thing to write. So it's five hearts. That was obvious because we had um, the coefficient out front, three of the hearts plus two of the hearts is five hearts. But there's this weird thing that happens to your guys' brains the second we add letters into the game. I give you the same expression, but this time I give you with variables and you like, like, I don't, 7x plus 5x is 35x squared. And you're like, what? What went wrong? And so, but the same thing applies. What we're looking at is we say we have a coefficient here. We have a coefficient of 7x's uh, and we have a coefficient of 5x's and the x's are the same. So because we are adding them, we add the two coefficients. 7 plus 5 is 12 and it's 12x because we are not multiplying them. Now, remember, x plus x is two x's, but x times x is, and that big fill in that dot there, is x squared. That is the difference. So we are adding like terms. So that seems pretty simple. You should be able to do that. But let's see how we do in the next one. All right, again. This is just stupid, Mr. Craig. Star plus star, well, that's two stars. You're absolutely right. I'm gonna screw up my stars. That, that's the best star you've ever seen in your life. Don't, don't, don't judge. But again, if I go to my screen and go, boom, then you guys are like, ah, what is that? Six uh, x squared squared. Um, so this is the issue. Imagine here, there's a one in front of the star, and let me go back to my writing. There's one star and one star, right? The same thing actually applies here. I have one three to the x plus one three to the x. So what I end up with is two times three to the x, because I have two three to the x's. And some people are saying, well, Mr. Craig, why isn't it uh, just six to the x? Well, it's because, it's because we don't know what the variable is. So let me give you an example. If I said the variable was x equals two, and we plug that in, then this would be six to the two, which is 36. However, if I plug, x is 2 into this equation, I which is, why do I have an x on top there? Did I really leave that like that? This should have been to the x. Yep. So that is 2, because I have 1, 2, I have 2, 3 to the x's. But if I, if I substitute that x, I get 2 times 3 to the 2. And what's 3 to the 2? That's 9. And what's 2 times 9? That's 18. So is 18 equal to 36? And the answer is a no. My name is no. The number is no. You guys need to let that go. So what I'm saying to you, again, for the record, let me just, I just have to do it all because of my OCD, is I have 1 times 3 to the x and plus 1 times 3 to the x. And because the bases here are the same, it's just like my stars, I end up with 2 3 to the x's. So let's hopefully see that you've got that. So here another problem. We have 8 times 7 to the x plus four times seven to the x. And you guys are maybe struggling, but if I took this and said I have eight boxes plus four boxes, you'd be like, oh, Mr. Craig, you got 12 boxes. Because that's obviously what you have there. The only thing different here is that we're not actually dealing with boxes, we're dealing with uh, eight, seven to the x's. And because the seven to the x's are the same, this is saying 12 times um, seven to the x. And so the answer should have been 12 times 7 to the x, because I have 12 of them. And again, if you ever don't think that that's true, try adding them. Try going 8 plus, eight plus 4 is 12, and 7 plus 7 is 14. And then pick, an, pick a variable for your x and plug it into a calculator, and you'll see that it doesn't give you the same answer. So there's an order to which and how we do this. So there's another one. And so finally, Mr. hopefully... Mr. Craig! Yes, yes! How could we type that in our answer for canvas oh that is a brilliant question it's like i thought of it 
the way you type this in your calculator would be 12. That's a horrible 12. That's like Mr. Nelson's two in the last video. 12 times, and you hit the, you can hit the, the, the times button. Isn't there a time for the digits? Shift six. Oh, sorry, that's shift um, eight. Shift eight for the shift, asterisks. Shift eight. Um, you can go with shift eight. That'll give you time times seven carat key X. Or for those of you who are lazier and don't want to go through this whole shift eight crap, you can just go 12 parentheses, seven carat key X, close parentheses, because that also means multiplication. Um, so then let's look at this last one now that we've talked about that. That was a great question. Um, again, we have another problem where we say, okay, um, I have 14 uh, 12 to the x's minus 9 12 to the x's. And the 12 to the x's are the same. So I'm saying 14 of those minus 9 of those should give me 5 of them. I have 5 times 12 to the x. And again, as Ms. Johnson asked in the last one, how would I put that in my calculator? Well, I could do the whole shift 8 thing, but I think the easier way to put in your calculator would be to go 5 parentheses because that means times 12 carat key x close parentheses and that's to do it and then last but not least in this little video here i wanted to make sure you saw that here's another one and so be like oh so this must be six eight to the wait a second the eight to the x and the five to the x are not the same so it think of it this way this is like saying we have three boxes plus three triangles. You would not say, oh, that means we have six houses because you have a roof and a square bottom there. No, they are not like terms, so we can't do anything. So believe it or not, this actually, the answer to this is actually three times eight to the X plus three times five to the X. And if I was putting them in the computer, it would be eight carat key X plus three parentheses five carat key X. And so that's just to make sure you just realize that the bases, the exponents have to be the same in order to even make this thing happen. So hopefully, again, this is all review from the eighth grade, but we realized that if we just threw this on you, you guys would like go, ah, so we gave you a review. Hopefully this activity will be really easy for you to do. And um, next class, we'll be talking about adding and subtracting um, uh, operations on functions. Hey everyone, it just got brought to my attention. Some people asked us, wait a second, Mr. Craig, how can this be simplified? Because we have um, two times three to the X. How come we can't just go uh, two times three is six to the X? And again, the reason why we can't do that is it goes back to our order of operation. Our order of operation says um, that we have to do parentheses first. There are no parentheses. Exponents are second. Well, this is an exponent. I can't do that exponent because I don't know what x is. Now, if I said x was 2 or x was 5 or x was 20, I could solve that and then I could multiply. But because the x is there and I don't know what x is, I cannot simplify this. So I cannot do this. So therefore, I cannot multiply them together because um, I don't know what the exponent is, which go, which leads us into that next question over here which we did before some people would say well why don't we do eight times seven the same reason because of the exponent right here and the exponent right here we cannot multiply eight times seven and four times seven so if we were to go down that order of operation again um we say we can't do this we can't do the exponent but i can i can't do multiplication because of the exponent but i can add because these are like terms the seven x and the seven x i have eight of them and four of them that's 12 7x's that I have. And so that's the reason why. And again, at the end here, we can't multiply these together because of the exponent. Hopefully that clarifies a little bit of what uh, we're doing there. Um, and again, come on Zoom and we'll talk about it uh, coming up.